it's for me it's paramount importance to stay healthy on the road uh, I used to not be healthy on the road I used to drink rather a lot and uh, and and other things and um, basically that only leads to one place and that's hospital so that's no good um, when you tour in band as a heavy with a heavy schedule like skunk and Anzi, you need to stay fit and healthy so I stopped all that seven years ago and um, I started you know, going to the gym and just doing, not weights particularly, but just cardiovascular um, exercises that just, you know, half an hour a day just keeps your heart healthy and, and it's so it's not such a shock when you get on stage under the lights and, and start going for it. I do I do an hour of um, Jim Chapin's book, you know, the, the, jazz, the jazz classic, thanks to Mike Gold there. Um, I'm having lessons with at the moment, but uh, so yeah, an hour, an hour from that book before I go on stage or other rudiments from stick control, uh, and then, which is probably the only part of the day where I'm subtle in any shape or form, and then it's, and then it's on to battering the crap out of them on stage. But I need to, I, because of the way, because I play from the shoulder and not really from the wrist, I, you know, there's a lot of, I have to stretch out, stretch my arms out, make sure my back's stretched out, my shoulders, my neck, all that stuff, otherwise just end up pulling muscles. I've got terrible uh, RSI right now, actually, which is, stands for Repetitive Strain Injury, uh, and tendonitis in, in this arm. So. Um, you know, it's, it's taken its toll, years of playing too heavily with the incorrect technique, i.e. this, instead of this, um, is, is finally taking its toll. So, you know, there's a lot of physio that I have to do on this, rep, on this arm as well, um, which could all have been avoided if I, if I wasn't such a heavy player. But, uh, you know, I am what I am and, and we do what we do and we'll just see how long it lasts. <laughs> I've never, I've never lifted weights or anything like that. I only do body weight stuff. So, you know, just push-ups and sprints and uh, pull-ups and, you know, all that kind of thing, sit-ups. And all, all I do is uh, things that I can do in any hotel room without any equipment whatsoever. So. It's good actually to take one of those uh, LucasAid Sport drinks if you have one of those sort of uh, midway through the afternoon and then maybe have another one before you play and that just keeps the the, um, the, uh, the salt levels correct because when you sweat you lose it's not just about losing fluid it's about using salt and minerals that your body needs essential ones that your body needs to not only function but for your brain to concentrate so if you lose too much of them you lose concentration as well as physical energy so. Eating, it's really good to have a, a, a good diet. I eat lots of greens, anything green, I'll eat it. Um, grass, whatever. <laughs> um, anything that's, you know, a broccoli is an amazing. You could survive off broccoli for literally for months without needing anything else. It's got everything you could possibly need. Carbs, iron, all, all sorts of good, good vitamins. Um, and I, so I eat lots of greens and lots of protein and um, yeah, and that seems that seems to do me well. And then um, I have a, I take some supplements. Like if I'm on the road, I'll take cod liver oil, and I'll take uh, um, a good multivitamin as well. Um, so and that tends tends to keep me going through the tours. <laughs> Not getting any younger, you know. <laughs> <laughs>